launching the constitutional sentencing guidelines for the courts of judicature, the Chief Justice, Justice Benjamin Odoch, revealed that the guidelines will improve the current challenges that the courts are grappling with when delivering sentences. We need to ensure that uh, there is some transparency, um, which means there are some guidelines or some regulations or some um, measures which are, can be seen by other people on how judges arrive at sentences and then try to sensitize the public. Justice Odoch notes that the judicial discretion in sentencing has sometimes been exercised inconsistently, leading to public outcry about injustices in the administration of justice. The chairperson of the Law Reform Commission, a body that has worked tirelessly to see the guidelines become a reality, Ruth Sebatinde, noted that the guidelines will go a long way in improving the management of the judicial system in the country. The principal judge, Honrebo Yorokamba Mwine, who has headed this project since its inception in August 2010, says he was motivated to finding solutions to the disparities that were exercised while delivering sentences. Justice Bamwine says that the courts will put more concentration in aggravating factor while the defense will concentrate on the mitigating factors. The Deputy Ambassador and Head of Mission of Danish Embassy, His Excellency Henry Lassen, called upon the judiciary to sensitize the public and ensure they make informed sentences in respect to crimes committed. Among the changes in the guidelines, including calculating the totality of a sentence and determining the total sentence to be imposed. Sibley May Andrew, WBS-TV.